Good morning, everybody. It is 4.30 in the morning on Saturday morning. I'm uh, waiting on Army Man to, to show up and another friend of mine. And we are loading up and we're heading out to Louisiana, about a two and a half, three hour drive from here. And gonna be doing some Civil War relic hunting. Uh, back where the Confederate troops were pushing the Union troops back after the Battle of Mansfield in Pleasant Hill. And we're gonna be back on that uh, trailway, trying to find some stuff. We found some good stuff in the past there. And not as much here lately. It's kind of, you know, picked over really well. But hopefully we'll find some good stuff today. We're actually going down because we're meeting up with another couple that they have a TV show on Prime Video called Adventures in Romance. And I met Lee and Alicia and uh, last year, and they said they wanted to do a, a treasure hunting episode. We tried to do it all last year. It didn't work out, so we're getting it together this year. So we're meeting up with them. And if all goes out well and we have a good time and find a lot of good stuff, the episode should should uh, show sometime around November of this year, later on this year, this fall. But uh, we're going to have a good time, and uh, hopefully we'll get on some good stuff. And so I'm loaded up a truck. I got my detectors. I got everything ready to go just waiting on the guys. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm excited. So uh, when we get down there, we'll turn the camera back on. We'll show you what we get, if we get anything. But let's be positive and let's say we will, okay? I'll see you in the field. down here on location now and uh, Lee and Alicia Dakota just came and they're with the Prime Video show uh, Adventures in Romance and they are getting set up right now we'll show some footage a little bit later on they're getting their shots right now as the intro to their show and so uh, we'll get to hunting a little bit and show you some fine so let's just uh, see what goes on here and see what happens. Lee and Alicia can I ask you guys a question? Oh sure! Why don't y'all come up over here? Yeah. And uh, this is uh, Alicia, and this is Lee, and they're with Adventures and Romance <laughs> over here. That's the way I like to know, know them as. Oh, yeah. But uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your show that you have, and, and tell us a little bit about Adventures and Romance and how it got started and all that. It got started because I'm a, an adventure romance novelist, and we decided, hey, let's let's shoot a YouTube show and and um, to help sell books and we pitched the idea and Amazon liked it and picked it up and so we go all over the country doing crazy adventures with a romantic twist to it which yeah. is uh, either wineries or sunsets or meals or and bless his heart I always turn it into some kind of either competition or crazy adventure that requires us to do something really outside the box 
and Lee just kind of puts up with me. <laughs> and, and this show would be PG, but because of her language, it's, you know. Oh, PG-13. Uh, I'm not that bad. This is your shooting now season two, right? Yeah. We're shooting season two with Preacher Digger, who's taking us out on an awesome treasure hunt. We found some great stuff, and this is just to give our viewers an idea of what they can do for an adventure. They don't have to chase the pirate treasures and the the land pirates and everybody else i can just grab a metal detector the myths and the legends we're going after actual real now, how can people find uh where do they find this on prime video yes sir we are yeah. on amazon prime just type, just type in adventure and romance and up we pop <laughs> well y'all check that out season one's already up and going and how many episodes of season one y'all have There's six in season one and there'll be 12 in season two and 12 in season two so y'all check these two out the adventures and romance alicia and lee dakota and thank you for taking us out on an amazing adventure today. This is way more than I expected. Yeah. Well, let's go find some more. Heck yeah, hey, let's go. go. Well, I'm getting a good solid signal right there. Ringing up about 19. Not very deep, just underneath the surface. Let's uh, see what this is. And on top of the furrow. There it is right there. You see that? It's going to be a round ball. It's an old one. Got the white patina on it. We find a lot of those out here. All right. Let's keep on going. All right. I don't know if you can see, but there we go. 12. It's about four inches deep. Not too deep. Let's pop that out. Let's see how deep. Not very deep at all. It's going to ring up. Probably sound like a nickel. There it is right there. What is that? Yeah, it's a nickel. That's a green nickel at that. 1944. So it's going to be a war nickel. Let's see if it's, it's a D up there or a P or... I've never seen a green nickel before. Well, I thought it was a war nickel. Alright, we'll clean it up later on. Let's keep on going. Getting another 19 right here. I just scooped up one thing. It's a little deeper. I uh, don't know. Oh, there it is. I see it right there. Y'all see that? Gonna be another, another round ball. I dug the other round ball just right behind me. So these are about five six feet apart so that's my second round ball maybe I'm in a spot where they drop some bullets right here all right let's keep on going there we go 18 19 I'm kind of faint let's see what this is gonna be it's not too deep There it is. Another, no, it's not a round ball. I was thinking it's gonna be a round ball, but it's actually gonna be a, a chopped bullet. That could have been a three ringer or some type of sharps a union bullet for sure. Maybe fired, but who knows? I can't, I can't tell. All right, that's two round balls and that's a, a, a bullet. Let's see if we can't get into some more coins or some buttons. All right, let's keep going. Got a 20 here. That's going to be pretty good. Let's uh, live dig this. Let's see what that is. All right, it's right in here. There it is right there. Oh, I came out clean. Y'all see that? It's broken. Back's broken. That's a three-piece uh, great seal button. Civil War period. That's a that's an officer's button. I'll take that any day. That's pretty nice. I wish the back wasn't broken. But hey, I'll take it. 
come up the front not being pushed down that's good all right let's keep on going got a surface find right here check that out I think it's gonna be an overall button yeah it's just an overall button thought it was gonna be a flat button all right let's keep going 20 very faint very deep let's uh, live dig this let's see what that's gonna be I see it right there check that out folks hey is that an Indian oh right yeah it's gonna be a one cent that's gonna be an Indian 18 I don't know I don't have young guys anymore so it's 18 80 88 something like that or 1905 I don't know I wish I had my glasses I could tell all right I'll take an Indian anytime let's 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 go let's keep on going all right I got a a 20 kind of sounds like two targets jumping around on me showing about six six inches deep here let's see what we got I see one already let's see something oh that's a greenie one cent that's going to be a, a wheat penny can't see the date on it but it sounded like there was two things in the t in there I love it when you see the imprint in the soil oh that's not an imprint huh check that out it's a double weedy a double weedy fine double weedy spill they're awful green these must be in slick these must be earlier types I have to get back to the truck clean it up and see what date those are well check that out I'll take a a double weedy spill any day now if we just get about a hundred years or older we'll be good let's keep going well it's been a pretty pretty good day so far you saw the things that I found and uh, uh, they're finishing up sh shooting we just got through eating lunch going to come back out here and hit it again for about an hour then they're gonna head out and then I'll get out here and hit it real hard myself see what we come up with so let's get at it let's see what we find well, the finds are definitely few and far between. I just now got my first target since the last time I really talked to you guys, and it's right down here. It's going to be another uh, fired mini ball. Not a mini ball, but a round ball. I'll take it because that's all I'm getting right now. I mean, I'm telling you, they haven't got anything in the last 30 minutes. All right, I'm going to keep working another section, see what we come up with. A lot of glass, a lot of pottery in here, a lot of iron in the ground. So I'm thinking there's got to be something in here. And so um, we'll keep looking. We'll keep going. I was getting a 15. I can tell it's just a very small flat button. The shank's broken off the back. It's not a, um, a overall button. It's different. It's got, I can't get it clean enough. Let me see if I'm wiping it off with my pants. You can probably see a little bit. It's got some fancy on it. It's got some writing around it or something. I have to clean that up and see what that is later on. But hey, that's if you, I'll take whatever I can get. The fines are few and far between right now. All right, let's keep going. Well, I was getting a 2425. And looks like it's going to be a pretty certain it's going to be a tax token. Let me uh, get my other camera and we'll get a close up and see what this is. I believe it's going to just be a tax token. Yeah, it's just going to be a uh, one mil Louisiana uh, tax token. And we are in Louisiana today. And so we always seem to dig these things out here. All right, let's keep going. Well, I got a little 1819 here. Not a lot to show you, but I'm going to show you everything I'm digging. It's an old buckle, you can tell there, like a figure eight buckle. Tongue is still on it. Probably from the 1800s. 
All right, let's keep going. Got a little buckle here. I can't read the name on it. It's got, uh, we get it into the sun where you can see it. I know you can't read the name on it. I'm not showing on this GoPro. I can get my other camera. On. Let's get the other camera and let's see uh, what the name of this is and see if we can't uh, kind of date this. Can you make the name out? I can't quite make the name out. R H C U O C U Y O T. I don't know. That's a weird. I don't know. We'll look up the name and we'll take a picture of that up close and see what that is later on. I'll tell you, the finds out here today are few and far between. Uh, finding something about every once every 30 minutes it's just getting really hard i'm thinking about uh i'm hunting kind of right now down in here in this area but you can see how big this field is i mean it's just that water tower is probably another quarter mile down there and you can just see and it goes a half a mile across there there's my truck and it just take your best guess go hunt where you want to troops moved all through here but this place has been hit so much uh, over the last 15, 16 years or more. And uh, so the pickings are pretty slim. But uh, just taking a break. Thought I'd talk to you just for a second. But uh, I'm rested up. Got some water in me. Let's go back and see what we can find. We're not going to find anything talking, are we? All right, let's go have some fun. Getting the 27 here. Another taco uh, tax token. Louisiana tax token. One meal. Oh, yeah, these are all over. I bet there's millions of them still in the ground out here. All right, let's keep going. Well, I sure hoping that was going to be a uh, Indian head, but uh, it's a nice green weedy. It's probably an old weedy at that, but I just like looking at them in the coin ball. We'll pop it there. Yeah, one cent, but the wrong kind of one cent. I want the one with the Indian head on it. That's about my third or fourth weedy. All right, let's keep going. Well, uh, Lee and Alicia just left. I uh, saw them off. They got through shooting their episode and they're heading back into uh, Natchitoches to do some more filming uh, for the episode. It's going to be really good. Y'all make sure you tune in this fall to Adventures in Romance and uh, you'll see this episode here that they'll be doing about the Civil War treasure hunting and uh, I don't know what the romance part they'll be doing but anyway you'll catch the adventure part. But they just took off. I'm catching up with uh, my friends. They're down there, Army Man and David. And uh, so I haven't had a chance to really d hunt real hard yet. And so I'm at it right now. So let's see what we can find. I was getting a 22 and I popped it out. I actually threw it out. And I think it's going to be a button. Yeah, a two-piece button. Let me, uh, let me clean this one up and we'll get my other camera and we'll get a close-up and see if this is going to be military or not. It's time to break out the holy water. Well, it's not going to be what I thought it was, but it's still a good find nonetheless. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it in the sun. It's just a great seal button, 1902 to present day, great seal button. I was hoping it was going to be a, a War of 1812. They have dug a, a couple of those buttons out here, and I'm right in the area where they dug them. And so, uh, hey, I'll take a great seal button. That's better than nothing. All right, let's go keep on looking for it. Here's a surface find right here let's see what this is oh it's going to be a lock looks like yeah that's going to be a nice t and p you know what that's going to stand for that's going to be a railroad lock this is going to be texas and pacific that's what i think it's going to say mean yeah that's an old lock that's a keeper. Texas T and P. Most likely that means Texas and Pacific. Yeah, not bad for a surface find. T and P. And right there on the bottom right hand corner is where it uh, had a chain attached to it. That's pretty nice. I'll take those all day long. I like this kind of memorabilia. I have a whole collection of railroad locks. I'll add it to it. All right. Sun is getting mighty low, so uh, we better 
get going before it gets too late. See what else we can Well, find. I was getting a 2122, and it's down here at my hole. It's tacoed, but when you turn it over, you can see the shank. So is this going to be another general service button, or is this going to be something now, else? Now, this is going to be another general service uh, military button like a dug, but it's tacoed. It's taco Saturday. That's... Hey, but we'll take them. All right, let's keep going. Well, guys, it's been a full day. Sun is going down, and I want to appreciate my special guest today. And I guess I was their guest on their show, and their guest on my show. Absolutely. Uh, Lee and Alicia Decody with uh, Prime on Prime Video. It's called Adventures in Romance. Y'all check it out. And appreciate y'all coming. Let thank me shake you. hands here. Yeah, thank you so and, much. Uh, we enjoyed every we bit. We so of had it. a good time. I hope that y'all are hooked now on treasure hunting. One hundred percent. Very much hooked on treasure hunting. Yes. Yeah. But we, it's tiring, though, isn't it? It is tiring. Yeah. I, I'm, You'll be sore to fight tomorrow. Another day. Yeah. You'll be sore tomorrow. Maybe no romance tonight. So we'll <laughs> see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all on the next hunt. Well, we got back last night. It's too late to shoot the wrap up. Uh, we got in about nine o'clock, I guess. Got everybody off, and so I just laid everything out today. I was going to do the wrap up today. We had a good time. It was great filming with Alicia and uh, Lee with uh, the Prime Amazon video uh, series Adventures in Romance. That uh, episode will be coming out sometime in the fall, their second season in the fall 2020. And so I was really excited to meet them and shoot that episode with them. They got a lot of good footage, going to tell a good story. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the episode and wait, can't wait to see it. But I hunted with my other buddies and uh, we all found our fair share of stuff, but nothing really really great nothing really great and not civil war stuff that we were looking for but we had a good time so let me turn you around let me show you what i got all right here's all the iron we could have dug way more and brought so much more home but a bridle and a bunch of horse tack plow plowing equipment all kinds of stuff here's all the brass junk that we dug and here's all the aluminum so lots of trash that we dug yesterday and uh but you got to dig that to really find the treasures and uh, my friend dug this, but it, I wanted one, and so he gave it to me, so I'm going to clean it up. I never, I, I've dug one of these one time and left it in the hole, and I should have brought it home. But he, he found it yesterday and uh, gave it to me. I'm going to clean it up and put it as a doorstop in my treasure room. I really like this. Out of all the finds, this is one of my favorite ones, T&P. And the top of it's a lock, and T&P stands for Texas and Pacific. And there's where the chain would have went right there. It was a railroad lock. And I have a railroad collection of locks, and so that would be good. I uh, found a, just a few modern coins. Here's all the bees. Here's the buttons. No really great buttons. I got two buttons here. One's taco, but they're just great seal buttons from the early 1900s, World War One, World War II probably. Uh, here's the bullets. You got three round balls and one chopped up. Uh, I don't know if it's a three ringer or what it was. Here's a little buckle and here's a little suspender. And as you saw in the video, I did a little history on those. These things date back to the 1870s, I think, 18, uh, somewhere around there. They're old. And so I'll put some old pictures, and you saw that. But uh, definitely got onto a spot with a lot of marbles. And uh, that's where I was digging most of my stuff, was just where the marbles were. Uh, they'll stay still here. I got two uh, taco uh, Louisiana tax tokens and four Wheaties. And this is my oldest one, but I'm not sure... I can't read the date on it, but it's a beautiful green patina. And the best find for me is going to be the Indian head. And uh, 1897 Indian head penny. So that and the lock, I think, were my two greatest finds. I'll put these down here together. Uh, those are my two greatest finds. So there's all the trash. And there's all the treasures. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what's sitting on the back of your tailgate, my friends, and what can be dug out of the earth. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>